Hey folks, it's uh, Wednesday, uh, June 3rd, and uh, I'm back home. Hasn't been a post uh, since uh, Sunday, because Monday, June 1st, uh, we traveled from uh, Waynesboro, Virginia, to uh, Washington, D.C., well, just outside of Washington, in Arlington, Virginia, and stayed at the uh, Best Western Pentagon Hotel, which had 11, count them, 11 uh, different internet uh, links, uh, Wi-Fi, and not one of them, not one of them worked. Yeah, well, okay, they logged on for about 35 seconds, had firewalls on them so that I couldn't upload or download, couldn't bring up Facebook, and uh, basically uh, could kind of check email if I logged on multiple times. Wow, you know, if you're a hotel and you're going to advertise free Wi-Fi, then you should have, oh, I don't know, free Wi-Fi, which brings me to a wonderful topic today, and that is uh, things I look for when I rent a hotel room. Uh, uh, first and foremost, a hotel room should be... Uh, on a quieter street. Uh, why they build hotels on the main streets, I have no idea. Or why anybody would want to stay at a hotel right at the airport so that you can hear the planes buzzing over top. Don't get the concept. Uh, this hotel, Best Western Pentagon, was off the beaten path, uh, five minutes away from the Pentagon, which I went to visit. That was pretty cool. Uh, well, not inside. You have to apply two to three months in advance if you're American, and even longer if you're Canadian. Um, what else do I like in a hotel? Oh, I love a hotel with extra pillows. They should just have extra pillows in a little bin or cupboard all through the United Kingdom. Yes, they had them in Spain. They gave us a pillow the size of uh, my arm. Yeah, okay, I may not have the biggest arms in the world, but, you know, the pillow was pretty small. Um, oh, yeah, extra pillows. Extra pillows are good. Oh, a shower head. A shower head that actually functions with some sort of water pressure would be really good uh, because, you know, a shower is important. Uh, the bed should be comfortable. I don't care about uh, desks and extra chairs and uh, uh, pools and uh, uh, morning breakfast, uh, whatever. Those things are not that important to me. I need a really comfortable bed with lots of pillows, a really good shower, internet. Internet would be good. If you advertise it, I want it. Uh, those are the probably the most important things. Oh, and considerate cleaning staff. Uh, they should have a do not disturb sign and the people who work in the hotels should actually notice the do not disturb signs and decide not to discuss uh, their family topics or how many hours they're working directly in front of your door or vacuum so that they bang against the door. These are the things that I like in a hotel. Uh, small little considerations make a huge difference. Oh, and uh, a bottle opener. Somewhere in the room would be good, a bottle opener. If they don't have one, expect the edges of their counters to be ruined before I leave. Other than that, uh, not a whole bunch else I ask for in a hotel room. Um, so I wasn't able to give any sort of an update, so I'll back up and tell you we left Waynesboro, headed to Washington, D.C., got into the uh, Best Western uh, Pentagon Hotel, and uh, took a shuttle, uh, the hotel shuttle over to Pentagon City, then took the Metro on the Yellow Rail uh, to uh, right down uh, to uh, uh, F and 7th, uh, Chinatown area. Uh, went and saw the International Spy Museum. Uh, Rusty, uh, my dear friend, had said, Sean, if you want to see something fun, uh, go check out this uh, little museum. And to be honest, it was an absolute blast. Uh, I'd like to have had more time. The brochure said they were open until 8, and when we got there, they charged us 18 bucks and then told us that they were open until uh, 7 p.m. Uh, good advertising. Uh, I rushed through it. Uh, did learn a couple of things. Um, one thing I learned was that they were inaccurate in their description of lock picking, but I guess probably that's a smart thing to be inaccurate. And I was kind of disappointed that in the gift shop they didn't offer a lock pick set. Wouldn't that have been nice? Yes, the junior lock pick set. They did offer a watch with a camera built into it that was uh, two gig of uh, uh, memory on the watch. It was a nice stainless steel faced watch, and uh, in the two, in the little curl of the two, was the camera. It was pretty cool. Um, they had some interesting things there. Then I uh, went for a wander, found the FBI building. On the Facebook page, you'll see I took a picture of uh, this row of American flags that just goes on forever. Oh, it looked very cool. Um, then I uh, headed on up to the top half of Chinatown. Chinatown in Washington, D.C. is a joke. Uh, there was Dunkin' Donuts. There was uh, Ruby Tuesdays. There was uh, all sorts of uh, uh, common businesses that you'd find in any generic shopping center. And the only thing uh, added to them was Chinese lettering under each one to let us know that uh, it, we were in Chinatown. It was a joke. Oh, found the Chinatown gates, went through the Chinatown gates, and in there were about uh, 14 uh, Chinese restaurants. Um, and uh, picked one that was called Walk and Roll. Yeah, Walk and Roll. And actually, it was uh, Chinese and sushi. And, oh, I was excited. Uh, it was uh, happy hour. 
and that meant two dollar uh, beers and one dollar sushi pieces so i had some connie some abby um uh, some salmon um and uh, then we had uh, wonton soup and uh, uh, uh sweet and sour pork uh, beef chow mein and uh, some seasoned vegetables you know all steamed up uh good meal though good meal uh could eat more sushi though oh i like sushi uh headed back out wandered around uh oh we saw something very exciting uh out of nowhere uh came the um uh two police cars uh, racing down the street followed by about five or six SUVs, uh, two limousines, a couple more SUVs, and another couple of police cars, all with their sirens blaring, all whipping at really high speeds down through the main streets. I think they came off of uh, uh, D and 9 or something like that, raced around the corner, everybody cleared out of the way for them, and uh, they just disappeared off into the horizon. I think I saw something exciting. I'm not sure what it was, uh, but uh, they sure did look uh, intent to get someplace. Oh, and we also saw Air Force Two. Uh, that's the helicopter. And it was uh, our president, uh, or their president, not mine, but Barack Obama returning from his wonderful date with his wife in New York. Uh, how cool is that? Made the news later that uh, uh, they'd gone off in this economic crisis to have a date. Oh, how terrible. Give him a break. Uh, the man's been working over 100 days trying to fix an economy, uh, close Gitmo, uh, change the world, and uh, uh, he wants to spend an evening uh, doing his own little stimulus package. Oh, no, wait, wait a sec. His stimulus package was uh, increasing the uh, economy of New York, and his wife stim stimulated his package, or something like that. Um, what else happened? Well, then got up the next day and uh, caught a whole bunch of flights. Started the morning by going to see the Pentagon, uh, got close, and then went to uh, Arlington Cemetery, and uh, that's magnificently huge, unbelievable. And found a little place, a diner. Let's go, oh, Bob and Edith's Diner. If you're ever in Arlington, Virginia, Bob and Edith's Diner. It was uh, founded in 1967. Its last renovations were in 1975, and it was fun. A uh, huge breakfast for a really reasonable price. They served uh, breakfast at noon, which was exactly what the doctor asked for, uh, and uh, everything was uh, glorious, just absolutely glorious. Uh, got on the planes. Uh, American Airlines' first plane was delayed by uh, almost two hours. Uh, second plane was uh, delayed by about an hour. I uh, got into uh, Seattle and uh, went to the park and fly and bless their little hearts at park and fly they left my vehicle unlocked with the, the back door uh, wide open while people were parked right next and on either side that's their way of greeting when you come back is to have it open so you can put your luggage in not that other people might want to pick through the things that are sitting in the back of your car don't get the concept uh, nothing nothing friendly about opening up my trunk and just leaving it there and my trunk is actually in the back of an SUV so it's access to the whole vehicle uh, yeah really clever uh, drove home, it was about uh, 2 hours and 15 minute drive from SeaTac Airport, uh, back home, crawled into bed around uh, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning uh, after filling out paperwork for our uh, Chinese visas for Lori Han and I uh, for our trip to Beijing, on to Shanghai, on to Guangzhou, and then heading out of China and going over to uh, Japan. Um, hey, you might have noticed I'm playing with these cards. Aren't these the coolest back design you've ever seen? Aren't they great? They're uh, the Guardian deck uh, made by... Uh, uh, Theory 11, uh, brilliant deck of cards, uh, very cool. Oh, wait a second, uh, check this out. There's the Ace of Spades. Check out, is that a cool looking Ace of Spades? That's very cool. Uh, if you like that, then uh, you might actually like the. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Can I find them? Should be able to find them. Yeah, that should be him right there. And that should be the uh, Joker. Here, I'll turn around so you can actually see him. Check him out. Is he cool? That's a very cool. I, I dig angels. That's very cool. The back side and the front side. Yeah. Uh, very cool deck of cords. Anyways, that's basically what's happened. Uh, I got up today, did more paperwork. Uh, I'm now going to go into the basement and do a little bit of um, uh, building. I want to try to finish something off I've been working on. And then I'm um, going to go biking. That's what I'm going to do next. Uh, so you guys have a great day. Uh, keep busy, keep well. But most of all, be happy, huh? Bye for now.